Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Menu Trunet, and welcome to 911 Operator, a strategy simulation -y sort of thing for being an emergency services dispatcher, which is a really, really good idea. So I'm beginning our shift and I need to figure out who I'm actually going to be capable of dispatching. You make money as you go along. I've just kind of done like a couple of shifts just to make a bit of money and get used to this sort of thing. So basically where you start off with is I have got myself three police cars. Two of them are just normal police cars. They've just got two police officers in them each and they've got room for two suspects. And we've also got a police van, which I could put more police officers in if I wanted to, but we're normally good with just two. And also we have actually got the space for four actual people to be like under arrest and taken back to prison in that. So for larger instances, always remember to send the police van. And we've got the same with uh, three ambulances here. So we've actually got enough space for three crew if we wanted to, but two seems to be enough for now. But yeah, I could if I wanted to just basically go over to staff and spend my money hiring more people but I think we're okay for now at least and we've also got two fire engines that we need to dispatch as well now I could buy some extra equipment for some people so for example all the police like have guns but if I hire more people and create more teams I'm gonna have to buy some more guns as well what can be a decent idea potentially is having like one team that's like reserved as your like special response unit so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fit out my van given that's gonna be the one that goes to the biggest problems where there's more likely to be trouble, I'm going to buy a couple of bulletproof vests and I'm going to give those straight over to my people in the van, which basically just makes them a bit more resistant in the event of a big deadly thing. That stops them getting injured because I've kind of picked up a few injuries. So I've just had to like hire some extra police officers because I've got some people in hospital for a while. Uh, luckily, like the medic and this police officer are fairly lightly injured, so they'll just be down for one day. But that guy above, he'll be out for a full seven shifts now, which is unfortunate. I could also buy some first aid kits and give them to the police officers. So even if medical personnel aren't present, they can at least stabilize people if there's trouble. But I'm happy with that for now now I would say just remember we've got bulletproof vests on the guys in the van let's start the deployment so duty hasn't begun instead I get to deploy people wherever I want to everyone is starting off at a police station so there's a police station there's a police station and that's a hospital and a hospital and that's a fire station so what I'm going to do is I am going to before the shift begins I'm actually going to scatter things around a bit so I've got things nearby for when trouble breaks out wherever in particular I'm just going to send one of my police cars say right over here and I'll have my police van kind of right in the middle over here, ready to get involved with whatever. So now we're just going to start duty and wait for calls and emergencies to come in. So start duty and time starts ticking by. Basically we have, yes, about eight minutes to go. So we've got a new incident. Go over to that and pause time if you wanted to have a little looksy at it. And we've got an accident caused by a drunk driver. So the game tells you what needs to go over there in order to resolve this. There's a suspect, so the police need to go over there. So we'll send a police officer over there. And there is also someone who needs medical assistance, so I can send one of my ambulances. All my ambulances are the same, so just go for the closest one. So that's absolutely fine. Just tell those guys to wait rather than ignore. And now everyone will be on their way. The police will just head in that direction. And everyone else will just kind of bumble around. The police in particular just kind of drive around because they're... They like to be seen on the beat and see if they happen to stumble across anything. So the police generally bumble around. For the most part, ambulances and fire things seem to just kind of stay perfectly still. So police are on the scene and we now get a report. One of the police officers is coming in. Oh, hang on, just pause for a second. There's a call coming in, but I'll deal with that in just a second. Uh, yeah, basically one of the police officers is arresting this person. That's going to take 40 seconds. And the other police officer is trying to deal with this person, but... He's not a trained medical personnel and he doesn't actually have a first aid kit, so he won't be able to do very much. As a result, in 58 seconds, basically the ambulance needs to arrive or this person's going to die and that's going to be bad. So never mind that, that's already on the way. Instead, what we've got now is we've got a call coming in. 911, what's your emergency? There's a fire here. And what exactly is on fire? No, 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 always get the address first. Where are you, sir? In front of... So what's on fire? I guess it's a living room. I needed to be more specific, sir. Is the room in a house or an apartment? It's part of the house. Okay, and you're not inside this by any chance, are you? You're not inside, are you? No, I saw the fire through a window. Is there anyone inside? I need to know whether to send an ambulance as well. Do you know if there's anyone inside? Yes, I think so. I heard a scream just before I called. Right, and that means we're going to need firefighters, but almost certainly also we're going to be needing an ambulance. 
So, let's send a firefighter over in that direction, and I'm going to send one of my ambulances out. Now, I don't know for certain the ambulance is going to be required. Oh, just a second. I don't know for certain the ambulance is actually going to be required, but if the ambulance showed up and isn't required, that means the ambulance isn't available if something else shows up. And we've also got a new incident right here as well. Police intervention needed five suspects. Well, guess who's going in? It's the van, of course. Now, I could send in the other police car to help out as well, but in which case, I wouldn't have any police available. So, I need to not do that. Instead, we just need to get things kicking off. So, my big police van is going to go and deal with that, but that's going to keep up my big police van for quite some time. So, just wait on that. If you don't want things, just go when you want to ignore them. Just click ignore and they just disappear off. So, okay. My ambulance has picked up the injured person and is now returning them to hospital. And my police car, because you can see there from the little squares, my police car, which had two spaces for people who they are arresting, has actually arrested one person and that person now has to be taken back to the police station. You could, of course, just ride around and send them straight onto the next person, but if you send them straight onto the next person, then as a result of that, uh, there's only one spot left in the car for someone else to be arrested. So really, you've kind of got to let ambulances and police officers go back to the police station and the hospital after they're done. Otherwise, you just kind of end up like with filled up ambulances and cars. And I imagine people die in the back of ambulances too. So what have we got over here? We've got, oh no. Right. Now, this is where things start getting difficult. I've turned the game up to hard mode, by the way, because I enjoy this game more on hard mode because it gets more ridiculously stressful. So, gangs are fighting using clubs. Now, I can't just send an ambulance over because they're possibly armed and the ambulance people might just get themselves killed. So, the police need to arrive first. So, really, what I would like to do is my big van load of people need to show up. The problem is that's going to take some time to actually sort out. But it's not an emergency, so I'd say we just leave that fight be until the van is ready to go. Because I want the people with the bulletproof vests and the big van to go over there. I could just send over this one car with two guys. They do have guns, but if trouble kicks off, they're not best suited to it. No, I'm going to leave them for now. I'm just going to restart time. We're just going to wait for these guys to... Oh, it's going to take so long to do because the van's tied up. All right, I'm going to send over the police officer in this direction. Because, yeah, sadly, this van is going to be busy for ages at this flipping massive party. But there might be loads of people to arrest. When you kind of complete cases, uh, you kind of get updated for how many you've resolved and what your reputation is. Reputation points just let you unlock subsequent bigger, more complicated maps, as far as I can tell. So, my police officer's going over there, and oh dear, we've got a new call coming in. Hello, I have a problem. Uh, someone is trying to get into my house through the back door. Right, that sounds bad. Tell me the address first. Always get the address first. It's probably that crazy Ray, my ex-boyfriend. I heard knocking at the door. He's probably drunk again. What should I do? Hide. Just, just flipping hide. Hang on for a sec, okay? I want you to find a room that you can lock the door on. And then get in there, shut it, and lock it, okay? Okay. Oh, God. He knows I'm here. Hold on. I know you can do this. Police are on the way. What should I do? I have my father's gun. Should I shoot him? Oh, flip. Um, yes, if you have to, do shoot him. Self-defense. You have to defend yourself the best way you can. You can't let him hurt you. Sure, I will. Ray, get the fuck out of my house, because I will shoot you, I tell you. Oh, oh, I think I killed him. I think I killed him. Ray! Well, that's unfortunate. Right, so Ray's a bit dead. We should probably send a police officer over there. And I think Ray's dead, so an ambulance isn't important. But I've got plenty of spare ambulances, so I'm going to send an ambulance going over anyway. Right, this ambulance is busy because it's got to undefined need backup. Yeah, unsurprising. Uh, would you believe that went nasty? Right, I'm going to send an ambulance over in that direction because we're going to need an ambulance over there. And are you nearly done with this flipping party? Please tell me you're nearly flipping done, Eleven. 34. How many people are you arresting? You better arrest some people out of this. I'm going to be so annoyed if you just let all these people off with warnings, because literally, I've got police officers under fire. The ambulance is probably going to get badly injured as well. Yes, I know I've got new incidents. I like hard mode in this game. It's stressful. Right, he's dealing with that, and I've sent over... Yes, indeed, I made the right call, because I sent over an ambulance and a police officer. Oh, will you stop calling me up? Okay, that I can deal with. Just tell me where I'll send a flipping ambulance. Do you know how to perform CPR? What? No. Not really. Well, if he dies, this is now officially your fault. Okay, just wait, alright? Just wait. I'm busy. I've got lots of stuff to do. Right, all my police officers are busy, so I can't deal with that around there. I've got incidents all over the bloody place right now. We've got... Okay, I've got... I don't have an ambulance to send over there. Wait, how many people need to be dealt with? Okay, one person needs to be dealt with over there. We've got more... Oh, that's just a drunk driver. Okay, I can't deal with that. Are you managing to heal anyone? Because normally the, um, the medical people can't... Oh, dear. 
The medical people. Okay, the medical people got the people out and they're taking them to hospital. That's good. You're dealing with that situation. Um, could, actually, no, don't go to hospital. Go straight there. Okay, you're ready to go. No, go and help out. Go and help out your friends. Go and help out. Write the flip now. Right, you meanwhile, go and deal with the drunk driver. That seems more important than car bump. Yeah, car bump, we can leave. You go and track down the drunk driver. The fire brigade don't need to do anything yet. Oh, of course, there's more flipping. Four possibly half suspects. <laughs> Yay, this is going to be a fun flipping night. Uh, you are already busy trying to track down that guy. And we've got another call coming in as well. Hello, there's been a car crash. Well, you don't sound particularly bothered. When did it happen? Well then get off the bloody phone! Right, ignore that one because it doesn't count. What have we got over here? This is a small thing. Accident by a drunk driver. Okay, send the ambulance over to them. Oh, I don't want to bother chasing this guy. He's so far out of the way. Suspect is off. Okay, the suspect got out of the duty zone. Right, go over and help them out. What else just popped up over here? We've got medical situation needs resolving. Right, well, I've got a free ambulance. You, go and deal with that. Yep, only one person is injured. You're dealing with them. Then take both of those people to hospital. So that guy is now going to be out of the game until he gets over to hospital. Missy, I've still got a bad... Oh, and this person got injured too. One of the medics was injured in the shootout. How's this situation going, by the way? And are we going to need... I think we're going to need more flipping ambulances yet, unfortunately. But my ambulances are... Are you tied up in a minute? Are you going up? No, you're not tied up. Go, 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 go. Go and heal, like, your friends and the other police officers. Please don't let any more police officers bloody die. Right. You are... That's just one person that needs help. You've dropped off your people at the hospital. Go and pick this person up, please. Thank you. And more people are flipping under fire. There is just a ridiculous firefight going on over here. Look, I don't care if you need backup, alright? There's already like two-thirds of all my police officers are busy over there. What have we got there? That is a fight. Uh, they're using clubs. You've got guns. You should be able to handle that. That's 100% fine. And you go and join them over there. This is just a car bump. We might get your car bump later. I don't know. Please be a false alarm. It's burning here. Please send help. Okay, what is burning? What's burning, ma'am? I don't know. It's probably a living room. Uh, wait, this is the same flat we heard from earlier. Is the room in a house or an apartment? Yes, the house is burning. Okay, it's a house, and is anyone inside? inside I don't know. I haven't been inside. Alright, fine. I'll send some firefighters. Right, wait. Fire department's already on its way. You're going over there. You may as well head in that direction. Go and help out. I suspect there might be someone that needs taken care of. Please tell me this isn't about to get more nasty over here. Yeah, these are people with knives, but we've got guns. So we should be able to deal with this, right? Please tell me we can deal with this. What's going on over here, by the way? If we finally flipping resolve this situation, and in comes the flipping... Oh, the ambulance has already taken two people away. <laughs> there's probably more people. Yeah, there's more people needed yet, unfortunately. You, drop that off. Right, head over there. There's more flipping people needed at the bloody shootout at the club yet. Oh, balls. Accident on a bridge. Right, you, get over there. Oh, no, it's a technical job. Right, I need the right fire truck, and it's that one, irritatingly. I need that one to actually go, because that's a technical fire truck, and that's a normal fire truck, so that one can't help out here. Right, you go help out here. What's the call? Hey, there was a robbery. Oh, bloody hell. Right, when did this happen? Please tell me it was a week ago. How long ago did this happen? A moment ago. Do you have any injuries? No, we are fine. Are your attackers still in the area? They took a car and drove away. What kind of car was it? A black van, but I don't know the place. All right, sir. We'll take care of it. Just wait for emergency services to arrive. Yeah, I will. Okay, yeah, just wait. We'll get to you in time. So the car is just fleeing in that direction. And we've also got more people flipping going around too. Right, okay. Who's free at the minute? How many people are free? You two. Are. You're just stuck there, unfortunately. These police can't leave because they're busy until I get an ambulance out there to go and deal with the suspect. So right now, two thirds of my officers are just tied up. He's also under attack. Look, how can you possibly need... Oh, no. You just need a flipping ambulance. Go, go, go. Send the ambulance. Send the ambulance. Send the ambulance. Stabilize those people. Yeah, they're saying they're under fire and need backup. You've got guns and these people are all heavily injured. So instead, we'll just send... I don't care about whatever that is. <laughs> oh, God, please just get my police officers back on the beat. I desperately need more police officers back on the beat. Uh, right, so we've got pickpocket. Okay, I just need you to heal these people and get them out of the way. You, go and join too, because I suspect there's going to be three people that need to be taken away, so that's not going to be enough. You head over there and help out. 
Um, that is one pickpocket. Can't deal with that right now. I literally don't have police officers. Drinking in public, I don't care. Red light defense. You know what? We're going to let that slide tonight. We're totally going to let that slide. You, go over there and help these guys out. Right, they've taken care of that one. Let's get this uh, fire truck. Would you like to chase this guy, by the way? If you would, that'd be great. This guy's stuck here until that woman stabilized. And now we've got, finally, finally, in 10 seconds, all of this is going to be ready to go. Okay, beautiful. Um, you guys... Go over and deal with like this, and you guys go over and deal with this, alright? Now, we can finally clear out that bridge instant. <laughs> as soon as we clear this out, by the way, that's the end, because our time has run out. So now we just need to clear the board of what's going on, and we'll be done. And I'm going to have a terrible, terrible score. <laughs> I like hard mode, though. It's great fun. So, technical guys heading over in this direction... Yeah, that's fine. Technical fire trucks heading over here. Police heading over here as well. You're heading over to these guys. That is just drinking in public, which really we do not care about in the slightest. You are now free. Send you over there. Uh, that is... Yeah, actually, well, we'll send you, actually. You will need to be chased down. So we'll send you first. We'll chase you down unless you kind of get out of our district. And... Right, in a second. Yeah, you're tracking down those guys. You're tracking down those guys. You're currently dealing with the bridge situation. Apparently you're both... Oh, you're both injured at the minute. Right, so I'm going to lose them next shift because they both got injured this shift. So suspect disappeared out of our area. That's okay. You just go and get that pickpocket, please. Thank you. And now the fire department are doing their job. And that is all done. Lovely. Well done that you kept working even after you actually got injured at that shootout. Marvellous. And now the final thing happens. These guys go over here. Take care of this here pickpocket. I'm just going to send reinforcements just in bloody case. Just in case the pickpocket situation goes wrong. No, he's got a bat and you are two people with guns. I think you should be fine. Now, how many people got injured, by the way? We've got... Yes, okay. So it did indeed go nasty. Yep, firing, firing, shooting. And would you believe... He came off worse when that happened. Okay, fine. We'll send a flipping ambulance to go and help out. I'm not sure why we're helping out this scumbag. He literally came at police officers with a knife and got shot for his trouble. I feel like we just let him bleed. And the medical team has arrived and they have taken care of him. And now we look at our reputation over time. Unfortunately, because we like, you know, we lost the drunk driver, he got out of our district and the car bump we'd never bothered responding to. We've lost a lot of reputation. So I haven't actually gained much reputation tonight because lots of what I gained, I lost because I had to kind of leave behind some of the little things because I just couldn't deal with them. Though really tiny things like drinking in public, if that times out, the game doesn't penalize you. So you really need to kind of prioritize and just decide, you know what, some things, they're just not important enough. We'll leave them be. Them. See, I feel like the car bump is not like serious enough to justify minus eight like we actually only lost minus four because we let a robbery get away but minus eight because of a car bump i feel like that's harsh so we have got ourselves a lot of injured police officers and as a result a lot of empty police cars but one person who was previously injured in a previous shift is back on the beat so we'll put him back in but he's not necessarily that good yet you do want to kind of prioritize the better quality people potentially based on the number of little chevrons there right we're gonna need to hire some new police officers damn it Oh yes, you seem very, very good indeed, Sophia Rivera. Driving and marksmanship, all excellent quality. Yep, we'll get you on board. And who else have we got that's really, really good? You seem okay, we'll get you on board as well. Now over in my equipment, of course, I have spare pistols. Because these are the pistols that would have been handed out to the guys who are now in hospital. So we don't need to worry about that at the moment. Ooh, can I give you pistols? I don't know. No, sadly, I cannot assign pistols to my paramedics, tragically. What I do, however, think I need potentially is some extra vehicles. Police especially, I feel like we were a little bit underqualified. So let's go over to vehicles here. How much does it cost to buy a new vehicle? 50,000, I've got 75,000 right now. Well, I feel like if the only thing I was really missing right now was, yeah, the police car. So I'm going to buy an extra police car and we are going to create a new team. And this is going to be a police vehicle. And, oh yeah, I'm going to need staff for that as well. So this car's just got one guy in it. He's just going to be on his own with a gun because my thought about him is what he's going to do is he's just going to drive around and when there's like really crappy things we don't need to worry about, we can send just him in. So that's nice. And also, if I can, I'd also like to just hire one more person because vehicles are expensive, but stuff I can afford a little bit more of. I'm going to get you in and I'm going to have a third person who's actually going to be present inside the police van. So if that police van runs into trouble, it's got like a little bit of extra firepower presence. 
If you want to get really into the micromanagement, by the way, everyone's got like their own marksmanship and driving stats, which affects their performance. So, you know, you might want to cluster your very best people together into one elite squadron that gets sent into the very toughest situations, for example. Right, I think I'm happy with that. Now I've got an extra police car on the line. Let's go and see what we can do here. So, deploy everyone as I would like. Once again, just kind of send people around so they're floating wherever they need to be. And keep them out of, like, housing estates, otherwise they might struggle to get around. It's kind of useful to have them at, like, you know, major intersections. So no matter what happens, they're, like, ready to go. So if there's a fire, send the fire truck that's right here. And if there's actually, like, something that requires, like, the technical fire truck, like, you know, a big road pile up, send this guy. If it's just a fire, always send this one. Okay? Start the duty shift. My police officers start driving around, of course, looking for trouble. Don't find it. Please just don't find trouble, all right? Just drive around and everybody stay calm, please. Okay, things start off well. We have got ourselves one basic loss of consciousness there. Fine, send an ambulance over. Meanwhile, we have got a call. 911, what's your emergency? It's burning here. Please, send help. Why does everyone always play the bloody pronoun game when it comes to fire? What's burning, ma'am? A garage. Okay, what's the address? Okay, and do we have... You know what? Just send the firefighters. Just send some firefighters over. Right, and he's nice and close by, so he goes over there. No sign of anyone who's actually kind of, you know, causing trouble or being caught in the fire. So he'll just head over in that direction, and medical guys head over in this direction. Everything's fine for now. They can just wait. Now, which one of you is actually unit number nine, by the way? That is you. So if you want to check, like, it's kind of annoying, actually. I kind of wish, like, if you hovered over them, it would say what number they were. Because I don't actually know which guy's the guy with only one. So I will need to actually kind of pause and double check that before I send that out. Right, what do we have over here? We have got a drug dealer. Now that, that's absolutely perfect. I'd like to deal with it, but I don't want to send, like, my main officers. So car number nine can totally go and take care of that. He happens to be the closest anyway. So wait, send him on his way. Lovely. So I can send him to take care of the drug dealers, and I don't need to send any of my main units to deal with that. I think actually, yeah, the police do seem to show up a lot more, so it is worth having like an extra police thing. Right, double check up here to make sure we don't need... Please tell me. Yeah, that's the caller, and that's a fire. Please t Oh, that's going to take a long time to sort out, apparently. But no sign of anyone injured, so good. We made the right decision not to send an ambulance up in that direction. So we'll just let them get on with that. Although actually, it looks like I could just click ignore anyway if I wanted to. So the fire engine could get there and I could just say, actually, you know what? The fire's not that bad after all. Ignore it. Right, what do we have here? One person needs some medical attention. Fine. Send an ambulance to go and take care of that. 911, what's your emergency? Now, this could be pocket dialing or it could be someone who can't speak because they're scared. If you can't talk, please press any digit on your phone, okay? I can hear footsteps, so it's probably pocket dialing. Hello, sir. We got a 911 call from your phone. Do you have an emergency? Uh, well, excuse me. It's my thought. I accidentally called 911. Sir, are you having an emergency? No, 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 I'm not. Please lock your phone and make sure you won't call 911 by accident again, okay? That way you won't take up an emergency line for more important calls. This game has important moral messages for everyone there. Right, let's get this call out the way. Yep, ignore this call. And someone... Okay, good. And my guy on his own arrested that drug dealer and is now taking him back to prison. My people are over there. What have we got here? We have got speeding. A car was reported speeding. That's fine. Uh, you just go and take care of him. He's actually... I think look, you're in a good position to intercept. Just go and intercept him. Yeah, we can just intercept him super quickly. Lovely. I've sent you like three police officers and a massive police van to deal with this one guy. But luckily we can deal with him very quickly. Drop him off in prison and job will be done. Very, very nice. Okay, this is going more smoothly. Hiring that extra guy was definitely worth it. In fact, you didn't even arrest him. Ooh, maybe you just gave him a warning or a ticket. Marvellous. Maybe he didn't need arresting. That seems fair. That is a problem, yes. Right, uh, just, just send the firefighters. We have enough way she is. Just send them anyway. All right, so just wait and send the fire truck. So unfortunately, right now, both my fire trucks are busy because fires take a long time to take care of. Now, what's going on over here? Yeah, that's going on fine. We've got, you are fine, right? No sign of any trouble going on over here. Yeah, you're just resolving that situation. We've got trash on fire. That is unfortunate because my fire engines are busy actually putting up buildings, so we're just going to have to leave that be, unfortunately. Sorry. It's just a dumpster fire. Next to, like, the kitchen fire or the garage fire, it's nowhere near as serious. So we're just going to have to ignore that one. Sorry. 
New instant. Oh, it's all fires. It's all just flipping fires tonight, isn't it? Oh, bloody hell. And the technical things needed over there. Right. How long is this going to take you? Okay, that's going to take you only 80 seconds. So we're just going to have to let them get on with that. And then we'll send them straight up there. Please tell me it wasn't conducted by anyone on fire. Do you have any injuries? Yeah. Where were you hit? It's my head. I'm bleeding. Okay. I want you to just stay there and wait until the ambulance arrives. Sure. Are your attackers still in the area? Uh, I have no idea. They ran away somewhere. Did they have any weapons? Yeah, one of them had a gun. All right, we've got a gun. That's a concern. Right, so wait there. Send the ambulance as a priority and also send over a police officer. Now, we've also got, by the looks of things, a red light offence. Well, we'll just intercept that guy because we've got someone literally right here. So we'll just catch him right this second. Nice. So that's going to be nice and easy to take care of. So just leave that for the minute. Ambulance and police are already heading over here. This situation doesn't seem to be going nastily. No, he's just dealing with that nice and simply. You are... Oh, you're done. Right, get over there. Get over there. Get over there. So that fire's taken care of. You don't need to get right over to the other side of town. You're still flipping busy. And this is one... A twisted foot from falling on the stairs. Okay, this is not serious, but I'll send an ambulance. I do actually have a spare, so it's fine. Now, what's going on over here? Anything major? Oh, we've actually found and arrested the people. No, there is actually fighting going on over here. But we've got two guns and they've only got one. So it should be them that gets injured, not me. And even if... Oh, but I might need to... Okay, I need to send a second ambulance down that way. Right, send a second ambulance because there's going to be three injuries, not two. There's an unconscious man here on the pavement. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay, wait there. Which of these is more serious? Oh, that's the foot injury. Right, you... Go over there and take care of that first, please. Okay, please tell me that's just a normal fire. Okay, any firefighter will do. Oh, someone was injured. Someone was flipping injured up there. That's irritating. Who was injured? Oh, one of the firefighters. Bloody hell. Right, I'm sending an ambulance to assist one of my own firefighters. You need to... Oh, I was too late to deal with that fire. Fine, we'll go and deal with this fire then. You're close to that one anyway. Right, so, okay, the two injured people are coming up here. You're probably already injured in that car. Now, I need you to get over here. Okay, we're really short on ambulances right now. I need you to go and take care of what is this. Okay, that's just a small thing, heart attack. Well, small thing. It's one person. It's a heart attack. That's relatively serious. You need to go over there. You're dropping those people off at the hospital. That's okay. What else do we have right now? Do we have any spare flipping ambulances? In a second, you'll drop those people off, and then you're going straight over here. Okay? So, just drop those people off, and then get straight over to that. Why is there so much fire today? All right, so much fire. Bought these extra police officers and we're better getting any use out of them. Go and deal with the bloody foot injury. Watch this. We've got... Okay, you. Go and take care of these people. Just nice and quick. There we are. We'll intercept these guys in a rush. Lovely. And taken care of. One person being arrested nice and quick. I want to report a fire. Is it the same fire we've been dealing with at the garage for ages? Because it might be. Do you know if there's anyone inside? Well, I, I'm not sure, but I, I don't see or hear anyone. Okay, I'm sending- it's not urgent. No, I'm sending the fire. I'm sending the fire, guys, alright? Just wait there. You, go and deal with that situation. Apparently- okay, finally, this situation's been taken care of. We've got, uh, one person possibly armed. Okay, send the big police van in. Send the big police van in to intercept. And also, send one of the ambulances to back them up. Are we finally under control right now? Yes, I think we're finally under control. Good. New situation to take care of. Wait, what's the situation? Oh, what's the bloody situation here? We have got ourselves a badly injured person. And also, we're going to be, you're going to be needing a flipping fire thing, aren't you? The technical truck. Right, send the technical truck. You go and deal with that instead. No, 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 no. Guys, guys, don't. Just don't do that. Don't do that. Go and deal with this, okay? We're swapping it around. The technical truck's going to go deal with the traffic accident. And the normal fire engine's going to deal with the fire. And, oh, no, we've got problems over here. We've actually got someone under fire. Right, we need, we desperately need, apparently, medical attention. They're saying they're under fire. No, it's taken care of. The, uh, the ambulance that was already there already took care of that. Fine. Fire department's going in over there. They're going to pass by each other. That's fine. Situation seems pretty calm for the moment, at least. But I think possibly a couple of major fires may have slipped by me. Because I think I'm on minus 15 reputation. <laughs> Down to minus 10. Oh, dear. Possibly this didn't go quite as smooth as I thought it was going to. Maybe because a couple of big things got away from me. And then as it's the end of the day and thus nothing else new is going to be coming in, speed things up to maximum speed. Lovely. Your performance was not acceptable. You're fired. <laughs> oh, no.
It looks like a couple of big things here in terms of the timeout. So, a wait, when was there a chemical hazard? Okay, oh, that might have been the... No, the trash on fire. The trash on fire and no one left. I think I missed a chemical hazard, which does indeed sound like quite a serious thing. Yes, that really does sound like quite a serious thing. Um, the suicide attempt was taken care of. Oh, that's what that thing on the bridge was. It was actually a person on a bridge. Fine. Um, the heart attack apparently didn't get to in time. A fire timed out. One of the fires did time out. So, yeah, it's the timeouts that really got me there. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, the thing is, I did a good job, like, getting to the little things, like, a, you know, one drug dealer, one empty call being ignored and all of that. But it was the big things that screwed me over, like a heart attack going uh, unresolved and a chemical hazard timing out as well. That just kind of screwed me over completely. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is 911 Operator. It's not desperately complicated, but it's fast-paced, and I personally find it quite addictive. I actually played this in an earlier state months and months and months ago, but it didn't quite feel ready for prime time then. It feels like they've done a lot of polish to it now, so now it actually feels like it actually works. So yeah, it's fast-paced, it's fun, it kind of keeps things ticking along. It's very, very tense and very, very stressful. It's good. It works as a strategy game. So, link in the description below, and I'm sure we will have something else like this at some point, ladies and gentlemen. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true net, and this has been 911 Operator. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Eroticism. How important is it to have erotic or love scenes? It's a film about bakery. Very important. Okay, so Ben and Arthur just came on TV. That's Ben, and that's Arthur. <laughs> Dinner Date's a really good film. Aside from the bit where he eats her, that's arguably not as good.